Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a polar diagram or a version of a polar diagram. It's also known as a polar chart or a coxcomb chart. So what is a polar diagram? Well, it's often attributed to Florence Nightingale and she was a nurse, scientist, slash statistician, whatever you can call her back then, back in the uh, mid-1800s and she developed uh, a polar diagram. Let me go to Wikipedia and show you what it looks like. And so basically uh, what she did was she had mapped out a polar diagram or polar chart of the causes of death for the army. And this is how she kind of attributed the causes of death. So in the way that she had created this polar chart is each slice uh, represented a certain period of time, August, September, October. And each of the different colored areas was a portion of the deaths that were attributed to different causes. So we have three areas here. So basically she drew this by hand. Of course she didn't have Excel back in the day. But uh, this type of diagram or this type of chart is something that you can create. And basically it's a um, pie chart when you think about it. And I'll show you how to create a simple version of it using the Power View capabilities in Excel. So we're back in Excel and we're using the Power View capability within Excel. Power View is one of the Power BI uh, suite of features that you can download uh, and enable in Excel. You can just go ahead and download uh, Microsoft Excel Power View and you'll probably find information about how to download and enable it uh, for your particular version of Excel. Now this looks like a plain pie graph, pie chart, but when we go ahead and click on uh, one of the segments here, let's say for 2012 and we do it for the government you can see that as we do that, the pie changes in color. Now, there's only three slices here, so it doesn't really show it as well. But if I went into a different slice, let me go ahead and just click on the uh, Asia, Asia Pacific slice, double click that. Now you'll notice that we have a similar version of a polar area chart. We have our different slices that indicate the different amounts. If I hover over it, you can see that the total amount here is 45,000 but the portion that is highlighted for 2012 for government is going to be 5874. Now if I click on any other parts of this particular uh, portion to kind of select it, you can see that we have the different changes in the slice. I can also uh, go up and go back, let's go to Europe, let me go and double click that, and we have European slices uh, by all these different, seg by just this, this segment, 2010 consumer, let me go ahead and click here and then click outside to uh, uh, reset it. So basically this is everything from 2010 to 2012. You can see there, there's, there's not really much that you can see here, but if I click one of these slices, let me see if I do 2010 and click on the consumer portion of 2010, you can see now it's changed here and I've got a kind of a view of that. Now this basically just takes its data from a table here. Let me go ahead and go to sheet one. And this table is just a five column table. We have our region, we have our country, our segment, year, and the value. And that's all we need to create this uh, simple polar chart. Let me show you how it's done. So let me go into a new workbook. You can see I've copied uh, this table or this range of data into a new workbook. This is book one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under the insert. Once we have uh, Power View enabled in Excel, I go to insert. And under the reports, we have Power View. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And it's going to open up the Power View uh, a particular window. So we have a Power View tab or, or tab. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to select some information here. But all I want to start off with is just the value. So I'm going to go ahead and unselect that, unselect that, unselect segment, and unselect year. And I just have the value here. And what I want to do is I want to go under the Design tab and click on Other Chart and click on Pie. Now what it's going to do is it's going to create a pie chart and really this is just the value for everything. And um, now I'm going to start filling out the other fields. You'll notice now that there are more fields here. And so for the color, I'm going to add in the region as the first one. And then I'm going to add in country. So basically later on I can drill down on it when I double click on each one of these slices. So let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. Uh, probably bring this down here a little bit. Uh, bring it over. Well, actually, I'm, I'm going to make it. Uh, let me pull it up a little bit. That's a bit too small. And just kind of make it a little wider over here and kind of bring this one down. Right? And so now I have this. Now, if I double click it, 
you, you'll notice that it goes down to the different countries here. So because we've got country and region, um, double click that. It doesn't go any further because the hierarchy only goes from region to country. And let me go ahead and click out here and uh, go ahead and drill back up and go back to the different regions, Asia, Pacific, Europe, and North America. What I want to do now is add another uh, chart here. So I'm going to go ahead and click outside of that. So you see it's no longer selected. You know, since I've clicked outside of it, the fields are gone. If I click in here, inside here, you, the fields appear and the selection is here. If I click outside of it, the fields are gone. And basically now I can drop this down on my Power View fields and I'm going to create a, another object here. So so now I'm going to do the same thing I did earlier. I'm going to add the uh, value here. And basically it's giving me a table with the value. And what I want to do is I want to change that into a bar chart. So I'm going to go ahead and go into bar chart and go to stack bar chart. Let me go ahead and just kind of uh, move this out a little bit so it gets gives a little bit more room here. And so basically I want to add to that bar chart. I want to add the the value is going to be the value of this could be sales, right? So we have that as a summation there. But I want to add a year as part of my axis. And the second thing I want to do is I want to add my segment here. I'm going to add it into the legend here. All right? And so I've got my segment here. I could swap. I can make the year as a legend or the segment as the axis. Depends on how I want to uh, have this filtered later on. So let me go ahead and just kind of um, make this a little bit longer here so I can see the other year there. All right, let me go ahead. Or I can just make this one a little bit smaller. Click on here. Yeah, let's see. Let's, oh, that one's big. Let me go ahead and just make this a little bit smaller so I can I can uh, see it a little bit better. Uh, let me go ahead and make sure that it turns into a hand. Let me go move it down a little bit. All right. And again, now I can click here and see that little little bar there. I can make this smaller. And I can bring this one a little bit down so I can see the uh, 2012 there. So let me go ahead and see if I can make this a little bit longer so I can everything fits there without the having the scroll bar there. And that worked. So basically what we've done now is we created that capability to drill down and have this uh, polar chart effect. So if I click on here, you can see now it's done that. And if I click on double click Europe here, you can see the different portions of Europe are showing. We have our, our, our scroll here that will let us see it. Uh, we can also uh, click on each of the individual um, segments here, Enterprise uh, 2012, it will go ahead and create that effect of the polar area chart. So this is something that could be done with Power View in Excel. You have to go ahead and uh, maybe download or and, and or enable Power View, but it gives you this capability if you want to create uh, this type of chart. When you really think about it, it's a pie chart uh, that gives you uh, slices but it also gives you the capability of adding a little bit more detail to your slices. Uh, basically, with, for example, this slice is the Czech Republic. Everything is 47,000 uh, in the terms of the value. Maybe these are sales. But the highlighted portion is for the Czech Republic of 2012 and the enterprise segment, right? So if we uh, hover over here, this will tell us the enterprise segment in 2012 uh, for all of the countries. So it just kind of depends what area you want to show uh, when you have this type of chart. So that's a quick and dirty way of how you can create a polar chart or a polar diagram using PowerView in Excel. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.